the in-house video production team of Northrop & Johnson has been in Los Angeles for the last few days. And today we've moved just a little bit down the coast to Newport Beach. I have seen so many Lamborghinis and Ferraris in this area. I even saw a Pagani Zonda. So clearly there's a need for speed amongst the California crowd. But if you want to really stand out from the crowd, you need to get off of the tarmac and onto the water in one of these. This is a monster of a boat. Bayer are well known for their hull designs and when you put 2,600 horsepower of energy tied to Arneson surface props, the results are quite spectacular and a lot of fun. We actually reached 44 knots while we were filming this, but the owner says that he once reached 49 knots. That's over 50 miles an hour through the water. Well, most of this video has been showing the speed of the yacht, and I make no apologies for that. Speed, after all, is her dominant feature. But there are other features too. This garage door at the aft, for example, which lifts up to reveal a crane, so that if you want to put a jet ski on the swim platform here, or some other water toy like a kayak, it's much easier to launch it and to retrieve it from the water. Moving up, we have this beautiful sun pad, but this actually is also access to the engine compartment. The whole unit lifts up, so it's very easy to work on those powerful 1300 horsepower MAN engines. A little bit further still, as well as the seating area, we have the television set that actually lifts and lowers so that if you've dropped anchor out at Catalina, you can sit here, watch the Formula One, on the television before blasting back to Newport Beach, which is where we left from this morning. We have a bar area here, but I wanted to particularly draw your attention to the controls because there's some of them that are really quite interesting and, and useful to know about. As you can imagine, when you have a very powerful yacht such as this one, keeping the pitch of the yacht in the right position is absolutely essential. You don't want the bow lifting too high so that you have no visibility at all. And actually the whole point of a planing hull is for the entire hull to lift up a little bit out of the water. So you need to keep the bow down. Now, with yachts with Arneson drives, with surface piercing propellers, you have controls here for trim tabs, which actually are tabs which lift and lower, but also the entire propeller can lift and lower using these joysticks here. And actually as we're out underway, it was interesting to see the captain working those levers just to keep us in a really good position to get the maximum performance out of the yacht. The other thing that he did earlier, which was really useful uh, when you have a very powerful yacht is to have what's called a trawling valve. Now there's so much power in this yacht, it can be quite difficult to control at low speeds. It's a little bit like older powerful sports cars that were great on the highway, but not so good around town to get away from the traffic lights. Well, the trawling valve actually releases some of that power from the engines so that we can go through a no wake zone, such as the one that we're in here now, at a much lower speed and control the yacht a little bit more easily. Finally, worth telling you a little bit about the interior. So let's take a look. Descending the steps from the helm station, we find a cozy and intimate seating area with elegant wood panelling, a comfy sofa with a table, and even a small galley. A door leads from here to a forward master cabin. 
that has closet space and an ensuite head, even with a shower. And the ensemble of accommodation is concluded with a further two guest cabins further aft, each one with single bunks, and surprisingly, each one with their own bathrooms. One of the most notable things about this trip to California, where we filmed in San Diego and Newport Beach, has been that it's reminded me of how many different ways there are to enjoy yourself on the water. When we were going out to sea this morning to film that great high-speed footage, we passed a snowy-haired gentleman who was enjoying himself on his sailing boat with his headphones on, and all of us said, he just looks like the most happy man in the world. We've also seen soupy yachts where people can enjoy top class fine dining cocktails on the aft deck. Or of course, you can have a lot of fun with a high speed boat such as this. You can be at Catalina Island in about 30 minutes, which is really quite incredible and a whole different world from the hustle and bustle of the cities here on the West Coast. If you do have that need for speed, if that's how you get your fun out on the water, you can do no better than taking a look at Parvina. And if you want to do that, the broker's details are on screen now.